So I'm getting a lot of messages and seeing a lot of comments and I asked my guides for a sign and they always show up in three when it's something that I need to give to the collective. And what has been coming, showing up for me is that all of this information that is coming out is making people very afraid, like certain people, um, making them overwhelmed and feeling afraid and feeling like something really bad is going to happen. And I can see that for a test that the universe is, is giving to the collective consciousness because we have been taught to give our power away. And when we don't know something, we have been taught to look outside of ourselves to learn. And the messages that my guides are giving me and confirmation within myself is that now is the time to use your discernment. This isn't just about one venue of information coming through and it being false, because it's not about that. Because each person is broadcasting from their truth. You know, some people can still be in trying to propagate certain agendas but for the most part, the way showers, the thing is, is that this age of ascension, this, this time period is about awakening to your own inner Christ, your own inner guru. It's about going inside of ourselves to find that we have the ability to tap in to every thought that has ever been thought. We have the ability to start to listen to what feels good to us and what doesn't. And so I invite you all today, if you have been receiving or searching, because as we are awakening a lot of the times, as I said in my one of my last videos, a lot of the times we can be the first or the only in our family to wake up. And so when you're waking up, it can feel like you're going crazy because everyone around you is seeing a different reality than you're seeing. And it's, you're not going crazy. You're just waking up. You're just seeing the truth. You're seeing through a perspective lens that is open to more channels. It's like, I don't really know how to describe this, but it's like only being able to see in black and white and then one day awakening to all of the technicolors around you. And that can be very overwhelming. But what I'm getting so strongly right now that I needed to stop what I was doing and make this video is that now is the time to use your discernment. So if you're watching something and it doesn't feel good, if it is striking your survival instincts, if it is making you fear, you need to do the most loving thing for yourself and turn it off. Go in another direction. Go inside. Because even though you could be following a, a spiritual teacher that you really align with, right now I'm seeing that things are going, going to be distorted to just test you, to see if you're listening, if you are actually going to trust yourself or give in to the fear. So... I just wanted to make this message and make you guys all mindful of this. And this isn't about a specific way being right or bad or wrong or anything like that. Because I know for myself, I have lots of friends who are spiritual teachers and YouTubers and all, all of the above. But I don't necessarily have to agree with every single thing that they agree with. We agree with the core principle teachings 
that we have all gotten or came in with. But we don't force other people to see our truth if they don't because it's not right for them. And what we teach people is to listen to themselves and follow their own internal emotional guidance system. So now is the time to turn the focus in. Even if you're walking around and you, we've all done it, walked into a room, walked into a grocery store, and there's something about the energy and you can't tap into maybe exactly what it is, but just something just like gives you the eebie-jeebies and you're just like, ugh, what is that? And so maybe you listen to yourself and you move away from it. Or it strikes your, your survival instincts and you run out and you think that somebody's trying to hurt you. We just need to understand that it doesn't necessarily, even though it's setting, maybe setting off alarms within us, it's because we have been suppressing and not listening for so long that now it's at its, it's at its breaking point. It's not going to be quiet. So things are going to show up like, no, 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 no. And it's not necessarily something that is life-threatening, but it's your internal guidance system saying, You've been asking for guidance. We are trying to guide you. Listen to us or we are going to continue to get louder. So I invite you all to start listening to yourself. And if something that is coming over your YouTube or TV doesn't feel good, for instance, the news, I invite you guys all to take a, at least a 30-day cleanse off of watching things like the news, and just allow your, your system, your nervous system to kind of detox from all of that overstimulation and fear programming so that you can really feel what is true and right for you. And when you're in an, in a, in an environment that doesn't feel good, that doesn't feel safe, you have to start listening and moving away. And it doesn't mean projecting onto whatever the stimuli is, like that's the problem. Because the only problem was that we stopped listening to ourselves in the first place. So I hope this message makes sense and know that I'm with you guys. I love you. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. If you guys want to work one-on-one -on -one with me or join one of my groups, you can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com or you can send me an email at info at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. I love you all. Have a good day.